So this came in the mail, and uh, it's this strange cast aluminum box that's pretty heavy. Um, and it's called a repeater. And I know a lot of people on my channel are not ham radio enthusiasts or even radio enthusiasts at all. Um, people come here for different reasons. I, I kind of show all kinds of different electronics. So um, this is going to be difficult to explain. Um, and so I want to talk about what a repeater is first. Tomorrow I will do a review of this product. Um, and... It will help if you've watched today's video, or you already know what these things are, then uh, go ahead and skip this video. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and discuss what this thing would do, okay? And why, why was it invented? It's about these things, okay? A little radio, okay? These are called transceivers. They, they transmit and they receive, so they're a transceiver. And you want to talk to your friend. Um, we would call these walkie-talkies. Um, and so... Yeah, you can use these right away, and you could just talk to your friend. And maybe everybody had one when they were a kid. <laughs> um, but let's say that you want to use it over a long distance. Um, they are capable uh, of some distance, uh, depending on how many watts your radio has. A little radio like this doesn't have many watts, but doesn't have any watts, probably has like a quarter watt or something like that. Um, but if you get something like a GMRS radio, you know, you can have five watts, and five watts is, is pretty good. Um, but at uh, ultra high frequencies, UHF, you're looking at about 470 um, megahertz. And while that frequency is great, it doesn't go around corners. It only goes in straight lines. And so as long as you and your friend have a clear path between one another, you can go several miles with these things. Um, but if there's something in the way, like a building, or a big tree, <laughs> or lots of trees, um, it might be difficult to talk to your friend. Um, and uh, so, what can we do to help these radios out? You can put long antennas on them, that helps. You can get more watts, that helps. But there comes a point where you just can't talk to your friend anymore. Um, and let me show you that situation. This is the, the picture that everybody draws. And you have you and your friend, and you are on opposite sides of a mountain. And you want to talk to one another. Your dog's lost. Hey, have you seen Imsai Dog? I think he's over there somewhere. And so you want to talk to your friend, okay? And so, yeah, you're not going to be happy. So what can we do? Well... Uh, we could put somebody else up on the, up on the hill and you could talk to him and say, Hey, uh, Hey, third person, <laughs> let's put in the third person. <laughs> okay. You can put in third person, third person's up here. Okay. So this person, Oh, he needs radio. Okay. He needs a radio. Okay. So this guy talks to this guy and say, Hey, tell my friend, my dog's gone missing. And so he yells down to this guy and says, hey, his dog's got missing. Oh, okay, tell him I'll look for him. Oh, okay. And then he transmits to this guy, hey, he's going to find your dog. Okay. <laughs> so this is a relay, okay? So you're relaying the information, all right? So uh, how can we do this automatically? Can we replace this guy's job, okay? We want to outsource him, all right? So we're going to get rid of the friend, okay? And we are going to put some magic box up here that has an antenna. And what does that magic box do? Well, when I talk to, when I transmit here, this radio receives it. And then it records all my information and records 16 minutes of audio. And then at some predetermined time, it retransmits it. And this guy can hear it. No, that wouldn't be very efficient. Okay. Well, what if it transmits here and whatever it's transmitting, it retransmits it. Well, that wouldn't be very good either because then they would smash into one another. So if I'm transmitting it 470 megahertz and it transmits it 470 megahertz, then it's all gonna get all mushed up and really, really bad. Um, it might be okay for this guy because he can't hear all of that bad stuff over here, but this guy's gonna have a hard time with it. So what if we can transmit to this box, all right? And so that's going to work. That's going to work fine. We transmit up here. Okay. And then we have another box over here and there's a wire between the two boxes. Okay. 
and he transmits say at 475 megahertz okay so we receive on this antenna there's a wire over here so the output of the speaker goes into the input of the microphone on this radio and it retransmit at 475 so this guy then he transmits up at 470 okay at 470 it talks to this antenna and then this antenna transmits and it, it's it's high enough that it transmits back down to this guy so he has to listen on 475 and this guy has to listen on 475 but he's going to transmit on 470 okay and so this is called a repeater or repeats it okay so it goes into into this Let's see it goes into this radio it gets relayed to this radio and then it gets transmitted this guy hears it he transmits up to this radio goes to this radio retransmits down to this radio okay so in this particular situation we have two antennas and two radios okay and we can actually do that we can actually have uh say two of these radios wired together one speaker goes into the microphone microphone goes in the speaker and you can do something like this and you can actually do that kind of thing but what if you could combine this all into one box okay that's what a repeater does so let's talk a little bit more about repeaters okay let's talk hypothetically here we're going to be transmitting the uplink this is called the uplink okay this is the one that's going to go up the mountain and let's say that we're going to transmit at oh Let's just pick a frequency, 145.990 megahertz, okay? And it's going to go up here to the mountain, okay? And it's going to retransmit, okay, in all directions, okay? It's going to transmit in all directions. It's going to transmit at 437.8 megahertz, okay? So you don't have to be close in frequency. You can actually be transmitting at two meters and then it gets retransmitted at 70 centimeters. This is cross band uh, repeating. And that's something that's very, very common. And uh, this example that I gave is actually something that you can do today. And this radio actually floats in space. It's the International Space Station, okay? So you can talk to a radio in, on the International Space Station when it's flying over you. You gotta, you gotta know that it's over over you. It only stays a, a few minutes on, over you. But you can transmit on this frequency and it will retransmit on this frequency. So you could maybe be in California and talk to the ISS and it'll retransmit. And then you can talk to your friend in Colorado and you could do it all with a little radio you can hold in your hand. That's pretty cool that you're, you're talking to somebody in Colorado um, because your mountain is really, really high, right? It's up in space. Um, so this is really cool. Um, there are other satellites that use other frequencies. Ham radios have all kinds of satellites and stuff. I've talked on satellites. You can actually hear the Doppler shift as the satellite moves and stuff. It's kind of cool. All right. So uh, we're going to talk about GRMS, though. Uh, GRMS. I forget what that stands for. General Radio. May I don't know. I don't know what it stands for. Who knows? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, let's pick, partic uh, pick a particular case for, for GRM GRMS. They are fixed, fixed uh, frequencies that you, that you must use. Uh, everybody is standardized on using these frequencies. All right, in GMRS, there are channels 15 through 22 that are repeater channels. And they are, you can look them up online. Um, here's an example. This is channel 15. We're going to be transmitting up on 462.550 megahertz, and then the repeater will retransmit that uh, signal at 146.550. So there's a 5 megahertz difference between the frequencies. So all of the channels 15 through 22, they all have different uh, frequencies, but they're always 5 megahertz apart. That's called the offset. There's a, a 5 megahertz offset, okay? And so these frequencies are very close to one another. Um, and so it will be difficult to have a receiver and a transmitter right next to one another because they would hear each other. Uh, even though they're different frequencies, they're kind of close enough that they might get interfered with. Um, so we need something magical in the box that um, separates the two. And I have a video on that. I talked about duplexers. So. What we really want is we want a single antenna, okay? 
This is the antenna. And we want to have some uh, box here where we have a transmitter over here. And that transmitter can come into the antenna. And we have a receiver over here. And the antenna can go into the receiver. So you can think of this as a switch. You can switch over here and you can switch over here. Um, a switch won't work though because we want to, whenever, whatever we hear, we want to transmit at the exact same time. So this has to be some type of splitter and it needs to be some type of frequency splitter. And I, I have a video on this, which is a duplexer. Um, duplexer, diplexer, depends on who you talk to. Um, and so what this device is, it is basically a frequency splitter of sorts. Uh, not exactly, but I'll, I'll kind of explain it short, in real short terms. You can watch the video. I'll try to link it down to below. Try to watch the video on, uh, on, on duplexers. So here's the antenna. You hook your receiver up to this port and you hook your transmitter up to this port and it automatically uh, takes the transmit data and sends it to the antenna and anything the antenna receives it sends it to the receiver but the transmitter can't talk to the receiver, okay? Those like little one-way one valves and stuff in there, that kind of thing. Um, but the way it works is it actually is a, is a notch filter. There's actually a notch filter and then another notch filter, okay? And the transmit frequency um, gets cut. So our trans remember our transmit is higher. Our transmit's five megahertz higher. And so, uh, there is a path here where we notch out the transmit frequency and there's a notch here on this side where we notch out the receive frequency. So it keeps receive frequencies going this way and it keeps transmit frequencies from going that way. It's, it's, a, it's a double notch filter, which is what this thing is. There's a better, better video that explains all this, okay? So we need one of these inside our inside of our uh, our repeater. Okay, so what do we need? So this is a repeater. Okay, this is a repeater. We have an antenna place or a connect. I should draw the line here. I guess the antenna is outside. So this is our repeater. Oops, repeater. Okay, so our repeater has a transmitter, a receiver, a duplexer, and that's about it. Um, it might have a little microprocessor in here to change frequencies and stuff if you want to set it up and things like that. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So whenever it hears something, it automatically starts transmitting. So there's a wire that goes between the, the wire that goes between the receiver and the transmitter. So the receiver hears the audio, sends the audio to the transmitter, and then the transmitter retransmits it. And these two things are five megahertz apart. Okay, so that's a repeater, and this is a repeater, and tomorrow I'll do a, a, I'll do a, video, a video on this. We'll open it up and see what's inside and uh, try it out.